on the next problem, what I want you guys to understand, because here's, here's the big misconception. This is what's happening with a lot of students. Everybody understands, or everybody at least can kind of make some sense of, oh, you know, I can just like divide things out you know, across. Well, what's important about this is if you guys look at this problem, nothing is separated by addition or subtraction, is it? It's only multiplication. Does that make sense, Amy? Because it's really important for you to see this. No, this problem, there's only addition and subtraction. There's, there's no addition and subtraction. Right? It's only multiplication of the terms. However, when I look over here, you guys can see I have terms that are separated by subtraction and addition. So we cannot divide based on just how we have that. Okay? We can't divide out. So a lot of students say, oh, why can't the x squares divide out? Because terms are separated by addition and subtraction. You can't divide out terms like this. You can't say x squareds divide out like we did over here. Here, the x squareds divide out. Why? Because everything is separated by multiplication. It's very important for you guys to understand this distinction. So what we need to do is if we're going to be using these division, um, if we're going to be using by division, what we're simply going to have to do is we're going to have to rewrite this by factoring. So I look at the top and say, all right, can I factor this? And whenever you have two terms, you always want to look into factoring out a GCF or applying the difference of two squares. And here, you guys, I can't factor out a common term, but I can factor by my GCF, x minus 4 times x plus 4. Then we look over here, and we have our trinomial. And what you guys notice with this trinomial is, again, we can factor. I know, it's OK. We can factor with the trinomial. Uh, that's OK. I got it. So now what we want to do is determine what two terms multiply to give us negative 12. Uh, 12 and 1, negative 1. What two terms multiply to give us negative 12 and then add to give us positive 1? Positive 4, negative 3. So now I re that rewrite that as x plus 4 times x minus 3. Now what I want you guys to understand, Brandon, <clears throat> here's the very big distinction is by factoring, do you have a note recover or are you just? So what I'd like you guys to understand here is now by factoring, we have separated terms by multiplication. And now that we've separated terms by multiplication, we can divide them out. Where previously we couldn't do that because they're separated by addition or subtraction. But now, since we've factored them, and now they're separated by multiplication, you can divide them out. So my final answer is x minus 4 oh. divided by x minus 3, where x cannot equal negative 4 and x cannot equal 3. Make sure you also contain those constraints. Okay.